Hey everybody. Today we're getting started with approximate integration using the midpoint rule. Our most fundamental interpretation of the definite integral is as the area under a curve. So for example, integral from 2 to 5 f of x dx can be represented as this shaded area where the graph is y equals f of x. So if I want to approximate a definite integral, um, I'm really thinking of just trying to approximate an area under a graph, like the one I have shaded here. There's lots of ways that we can do that. The most fundamental is just using a bunch of different rectangles. The midpoint rule is a specific way of approximating a shaded area like this using bunches of rectangles. What we're going to do is take that interval, in this case 2 to 5, break it up into n even pieces, um, and then draw a rectangle on each subinterval of that width. Let's see what I mean um, visually. So here I'm using n equals 3 rectangles. I've taken the interval 2 to 5 and broken it up into three even pieces, all of width 1. So I have the intervals from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 5. The way I'm going to draw my rectangle is, take the mid, is to take the midpoint of each of those intervals, 2 and a half, 3 and a half, and 4 and a half. Take the value of the function at each of those points, f of 2 and a half, f of 3 and a half, and f of 4 and a half, and make that the height of each of the rectangles. So for example, on that first subinterval from 2 to 3, if you look at that midpoint, 2.5, and then go up to the graph, you'll see that's where I've drawn the height of the rectangle. And then I'm going to approximate the definite integral just by writing the sum of the rectangles, width times height plus width times height plus width times height. So in this case, f of 2.5 times 1 plus f of 3.5 times 1 plus f of 4.5 times 1. And just looking at the graph, I can approximate those values. f of 2.5 seems to be about 3 and 3 quarters. Um, same with f of 3.5, and f of 4.5 seems to be about 1 and 3 quarters. So I can just do that arithmetic and approximate this integral as 9 and 1 quarter. Here's the formula for the midpoint rule. I don't think it's particularly helpful. Basically, it's just saying add up the areas of all those rectangles. If you understand that idea, you're, you're in much better shape than if you just try and plug into this formula. Let's do another problem. Estimate the area under the graph of f of x equals 1 over x between x equals 1 and x equals 4 using the midpoint rule in six rectangles. So here's the region that we're trying to approximate. It's the definite integral from 1 to 4, 1 over x dx. We want to use six rectangles, so we have a width, um, a total width of 4 minus 1, or 3, that we're dividing into six pieces, so they each have to be half a unit wide. So our intervals are going to go from 1 to 1 and a half, 1 and a half to 2, 2 and a half to 3, and so on. The midpoints of those intervals are going to be 1.25, 1.75, and so on. Here's what the rectangles actually look like. I've taken each of those intervals, 1 to 1 and a half to 1 and a half to 2, and so on, um, taken the midpoint of each one and made that the height of the rectangle on that subinterval. Now I'm ready to actually um, compute an approximation for this integral. I'm going to take the areas of each of these rectangles. Base times height plus base times height plus base times height. This time I'm, doing one, I'm adding one extra small um, subtlety. I'm noticing that all of these intervals have the same width, delta x. So I'm just factoring that out. I'm going to do all the addition first and then only multiply once at the end. This will save a small amount of arithmetic. As we said before, delta x is 0.5, and the midpoints are 1.25, 1.75, and so on. I plug all those in to 1 over x to get the heights of these rectangles. A bit more arithmetic, and I get an approximation for this integral of 1.377. That's what I'm guessing that the um, area of that shaded region was. If we want a better approximation, we can just use more rectangles. Instead of using 6 rectangles, we can use 10 or 20 or 1,000. In this case, though, we're doing pretty well already. If we actually carry out the definite integral, getting an antiderivative for 1 over x, natural log of x, plugging in 4, plugging in 1, and subtracting, remembering that the natural log of 1 is 0, we get 1.386. So we're not off by that much, even just using 6 rectangles. 